Ronbus, not Rhombus, not Ron Bus. Sky high. Ronbus, Ronbus R2. Unfortunately for you, this is still a pickleball paddle review, not a cosplay episode, but there still is an R2 unit by Ronbus. Thanks to Dong Ronbus for sending me the paddle and having a nice little chat with me. As enigmatic as the seemingly one-man design team is behind Ronbus, he's super gracious and really wants the paddle to speak for itself, preferring the sriracha, no advertisement, just good product method of promotion. And what does the paddle say? I'm made for table tennis players. Cool. But what does that mean? It's slightly egg-shaped. I don't really know, but while my ex-table tennis friends were kind of ambivalent about the paddle, its biggest fan was Jules. Jules is a local pickleball pro and plays 5-0. I'm regularly a drill punching bag for him. Amusingly, he wasn't a big table tennis guy, but a big, big tennis guy. But we don't talk about his dark tennis past. Anyway, he likes the R2 for the same reasons that I do. Ball control is great, the sweet spot's generous, the build is sturdy, and the handle is, well, a bit much for me, but we'll talk more about that later. Either way, I went down the Ronbus rabbit hole not knowing what to expect, and thinking what a lot of people do when they see some of these smaller brands. Oh, this is just a cheap knockoff of other superior brands. That's only half true. Ronbus makes a solid paddle, and it's much cheaper than some of the bigger brands in its technical weight class but it's not inferior because of that lower price tag. And that's a great thing for pickleball, I think. These smaller brands getting in here and growing their fan base with a cost and court effective paddle will hopefully force the paddle market to remain sane and hopefully to keep the prices of paddles from going so sky high. That's the second time I've done that in this video. Do y'all even get that reference? Even if they don't do that, they'll continue to provide a very effective option for people not as concerned with brand names. The R2 is not perfect though. Like any paddle, there are still some trade-offs. Firstly, the handle is a chonker. As far as handle sizes go, my favorite is the circular octagon design, with some paddles going for a skinnier, more table tennis adjacent grip instead. I prefer a paddle handle shape that splits the difference between the thicker oval handles and the smaller, more almond shaped table tennis adjacent handles. I want like a circular octagon that's kind of right in the middle sweet spot. The oval nature of the R2 handle makes it feel like it sticks on some of the faces in my hand. And like my hand is more precarious on other faces. So if I'm switching my grip, I don't always have the most solid purchase because some of the faces of the octagon are smaller than others. I also always over grip my paddles. So these differentiations in face size are usually a little bit more accentuated for me. I also typically prefer paddles with a slightly longer handle but a choked up two-handed grip on the R2 isn't the most uncomfortable thing, thanks to the oval shape and its taper, which gives you the illusion of a slightly longer handle as you cheat up onto the face slightly. It's also a pretty soft hitting paddle, which isn't really a good or a bad thing, it's just a thing. Some people want a softer paddle, some people want a harder, snappier paddle, but you can always weigh up a softer paddle for more push through and oomph. Companies choosing to start with a softer paddle also leaves more room for a wider audience to engage with the paddle as well, because people can weigh it up if they want it harder. However, if you're weighing up a thick, soft paddle, you'll never quite get as much power as you would on an otherwise thinner and snappier paddle, just kind of the way it is. Okay, what else? Oh, uh, the spin and surface. Spin in pickle has so many variables, so I think me giving you numbers isn't the most helpful thing, since I don't really know where you prefer to crank the spin in your game. Plenty of people I know have a far deadlier slice return than topspin serve, so me cranking a bunch of balls over the net with my serve doesn't really help you. What I can say though is that I think I get a hair more movement on the ball with this paddle than more elongated shape paddles, similar to my experience with the Summit Rampage. I think that's largely a product of having a thicker paddle with a wider sweet spot, so you have a bigger chance of hitting that perfect sinker, but even so, the R2 movement just feels really good. So why open your wallet up a little bit more for a Rhombus when you can get, you know, a Summit from Bison 
or a Gladius from Spartus for a little bit cheaper? Like, what's the difference? Aside from maybe a marginal yet still perceptible difference in spin, the only other reason you open up the wallet a bit more is for the rather unique shape options that Rhombus gives. The most wallet-friendly raw carbon fiber paddles on the markets have basically two shapes, square and long rectangle. But if you want to try some of the other shapes that have slowly rose to prominence, like the oval ping pong shape of the R2 or the spatula, I guess you can call the R1, then Rhombus is a solid place to do that under 150 bucks. Honestly, Rhombus doesn't seem to be doing anything new or better. It just does them the same as its contemporaries, but cheaper and no frills. And it passes all those savings on to you. In the words of Dong Rhombus himself, the brand will grow on its own. And if Rhombus keeps making paddles as solid as they are, that's probably true. And time will do the rest. So in summary, the build is solid. The sweet spot is really nice. It's got a lot of things that I like, also some things that I don't. So it's probably mid tier for me in terms of my personal preference. But in terms of being a paddle overall, I think it's really solid. I think the octagon of the handle is a little too oval. I wish it was more of a perfect circle. I'd prefer a little bit more grip on this paddle, but it's not a super deal breaker with the shape. It's a little slow hitting, but that's to be expected with a non-thermoform 16 millimeter paddle. If this paddle is indicative of the rest of their lineup, then I'm sure there's shapes that I would prefer in their other lineups, but this is what I was sent to review. And I did let them know that it was gonna be a bit out of my comfort zone, but honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised with how much I've been able to make this work in spite of wanting other things in a paddle normally. It's just solid, and I think that speaks to the paddle's quality. Thanks for watching the review. If you want to pick up a paddle from Rhombus, code PICKLENICK will give you 10% off. In the interest of transparency, I also do get a little kickback if you buy using that code, but my trustworthiness as a reviewer depends on my honesty. And money or not, I'm shooting as straight as I can, just like I have been doing and will continue to. Anyways, that's all for now. Keep it weird. Sent from my iPhone. Wait, that's not in the script.